What's up, people? All right, today I'm gonna be doing a review of my Top Lift Pro. I've already put it together, and that in itself was a real pain in the ass. So I've already contacted the company, and I told them that their uh, instruction manual um, was missing from this shipment. Apparently, that's just something that they don't send, even though they re reference it in the video multiple times. Also, their online video, there's three parts on how to actually put this together is really, really awful. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, and I've spoken to the uh, people over at Top Lift Pro. The video is awful. When somebody says, grab another small screw, and you have multiple different size screws, you need to be more specific and say, grab a three quarter inch screw, an inch long screw, show the screw, have them measured out in a diagram. Don't just tell someone, grab another screw, or grab another small screw. They're all different sizes. So, we're gonna test this for the very first time. I've never done this before. This is my very first go run. I just took the, um, the clear lids off. I got the doors off, the doors are hung. And I'm gonna put this in, pop it up, try to get over the lip in my garage and show you how it goes. And I'll talk about that in here in a second. basically going to try to line it up with the grooves in the roof. Once you get it where you're at, you can use your foot to steady it, get nice and level. Right there. Alright. Once you got it secure, you're basically just going to lean down on it with your arms. Just like that. All right, quick little recap. The roof is off. Top Lift Pro is in the garage stored. I'm gonna pull the vehicle in like I've seen online and pull it forward and see if I can actually shut the garage door with the Top Lift Pro over. I'll show you that here in a second, but let me just talk a little bit about this um, lift. Very, very difficult to install, like I said. Here you go, here's my shot of it. I have the doors mounted on the wall, which are gonna to have to come off because we have a painter coming in in two weeks to do the garage, the rest of the house, and those are gonna have to come down. But right now we have our doors over here and our lift right here. So that's step one, we're moving. I did use these extensions. They're a little off just to keep this sturdy. Right, and I noticed that it did help me when removing the roof. I had to lift it up, slide these in to help get this straight, all right? But 
Overall, not bad. Absolutely love the, the Top Lift Pro. Would I recommend it? I would absolutely recommend it. However, I'm only going to give them about a C plus grade on this whole experience because of the uh, really poor, they get an F for instruction manual. They get an, a D minus for the installation video because it was really, really bad. The three steps, uh, they have upgraded parts, and I'll show you one. They have upgraded parts that have three holes, but in the video it's telling you to grab the one with two holes, so you're going to go nuts for a minute going, I don't have one of these cross sections that has two holes. I have one with three holes. So be prepared for a little bit of um, stressfulness putting this thing together. Uh, other than that, it's a great lift. It works. Took the roof off with ease. Took less than a minute to get it off and another 30 seconds to a minute to get it in, in the garage. I'm gonna pull the Jeep in now and see if it fits. So let's see if that works. All right, let's do the wrap up. Now that I got the vehicle inside the garage and it does fit, there's no problems getting it in here. And although this is close, I can get my finger under here. Although it's close, you can actually see as you're pulling up, you're not going to hit your car. Don't worry about it. If you wanna put a little piece of rubber over this, by all means, but you have plenty of room to get your vehicle in and have enough room for the actual lift, getting the vehicle in and closing your, your garage door. Now, I'm not even all the way up at the high setting. Check this out. I don't even have it lifted all the way up. I'm just enough that when I want to put the roof back on and back in, I'm about an inch and a half, two inches above, put it on, drop it down, good to go. I did end up using those extra parts that I talked about, but let me just show you. So we do have clearance, as you can see, plenty of clearance. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take all this stuff out of the garage because I have a painter coming in two weeks to paint the entire house top to bottom and do the garage. That means they also have to remove my door. And as you can see, this bare drywall has to get covered. But for the time being, a little bit of storage. Anyway, overall thoughts on the Top Lift Pro? Yes, I would recommend it. Absolutely would recommend it. I still give this company a, let's go with C plus. C plus because once you do get it together, it works, it's awesome, it's great. However, getting it together is a pain in the ass. Zero instruction manual, zero instructions at all included in your shipment. And then when you go online to Top Lift Pro on YouTube, they have three videos, part step one, step two, and step three, or part one, two, and three, to put this together, and it's a terrible video. Hey, just grab another small screw. Guess what? There are plenty of small screws on this thing. How about telling us three quarter inch, one inch screw, showing step by step, instead of just saying, if you refer to your manual, which doesn't exist, you'll see which one I'm talking about. No, we won't. It's a real pain in the ass. So that's what takes this way down. I would still recommend this to, um, to anybody that wants one. It's, it's great. I know a lot of people install like a, a lift system on their roof. I'm not gonna do that. I wanted something mobile like this. And it is, uh, you can take it with you. It does break into two pieces. You can see right here, this part comes off. And if you have a lifted vehicle, you can actually lift this up and it has more, um, D-rings that you could put in there to lift this even higher. Let's say you have 40 inch wheels and you're going crazy because you just want to drive over everybody at the mall. You can actually lift this up higher in order to accomplish your goals. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. It works. It's great. Shitty instructions. Pretty cool customer support when I called them to tell them that their instructions were shitty. Guy on the phone was really, really awesome. I'd give them a higher grade just because he was awesome, but I'm not. They gotta fix this. Other than that, I wanna know what you guys and girls think down in the comment section. Drop me a comment about the Top Lift Pro or about anything else you saw here, I don't know. And also, before you go, click that like button, click that little bell notification. We have a super thanks button if you really like the content that I put out right here. Before you go, also click subscribe. That really helps me out. And that's it. You guys and girls be safe. I'm out.